Swapu Party Central Committee has issued a stern warning to members of the Swapu Party Youth League to behave according to the party's standards. The party's leadership has been at loggerheads with the Youth League after a number of public statements and unbecoming behaviour by the younger party members which did not sit well with the leadership. Speaking to Nampa on Sunday immediately after the Central Committee meeting, the party's SG Nankolom Bumba said the meeting strongly warns our members of the Youth League to conduct themselves according to the Swapu Party's standards. It's the issue of the conduct and behaviour uh, and writing of our youth, some members actually of the Executive Committee, National Executive Committee in the Swapu Party Youth League. We had a frank, fruitful exchange of the views in terms of really it is demanded for all members of the Swapo Party, irrespective of which wing, affiliate organization, that we should behave in such a, a manner that we promote the good image of the party, we co promote the good image of our country, we create confidence in the elders, in the youth, in the women, in the other people, that we are a party for the future. We are a party you can join with confidence that when I get old, I want to be in this party. When my children grow up, I want them to join this party. And we have reached a good conclusion. Uh, the political bureau will continue to desist with the matter, but we don't expect this type of writing and behavior to continue. The Swapu Party Youth League was ordered to apologize by the Swapu Party Central Committee, which was done by the Swapu Party Youth League this past weekend. Swapu Party Youth League public apology to the Swapu Party leadership. Uh, during the past weeks, there have been several regrettable publications issued by some members of the Swapu Party Youth League National Executive Committee. These publications attributed remarks such as the State House has turned into a clubhouse, use of state machinery to attain victory, one bullet, etc., as well as the naming of the establishment, nomination of Comrade Martin Shali to an AU post, and the reference to the political gods of Oshana region. Therefore, these statements attacked, insulted and degraded the President and the Vice President of Swapo Party, namely His Excellency Comrade Mfikepunye Pohamba and Right Honorable Comrade Dr. Hage Gengo, as well as the Governor of Oshana region, Comrade Clemens Kashupulwa. These utterances are not in line with code of conduct of the Swapo Party and that of Swapo Party Youth League and are disrespectful to our leaders and institutions. Therefore, on behalf of the Swapo Party Youth League leadership and the entire Swapo Party Youth League membership, we hereby extend unreserved apology to the President, Vice President, uh, Comrade Kashupulwa, and the entire Swapo Party leadership, and hereby regret inconvenience that have been caused. As a vanguard party wing, we shall commit ourselves to observe the party constitution, regulations, and code of conduct in all our undertakings to ensure that we remain a transmitting belt of the party policies and ideologies. Around 500 party members convened at the coastal town of Swakopmund to attend the party's extraordinary congress, which was officially opened on Friday evening and aimed at discussing and adopting amendments to the party's constitution.